roses from a store they will come like this and you add little mini roses some green and it will turn out like this which is lovely but in this video i will tell you how you arrange these roses and make them more like a garden style more natural looking First of all, you don't need too many roses. You might need some of them. So this way you have some room for other flowers that you're gonna add it in. You can start from maybe two stem of roses. Then here's the magic. In addition to roses, you wanna pick little teeny tiny flowers, just like our garden. Not every flowers are big and bold, but this is too wild. I'm going to take off the little side branches and I'm going to put this aside tucking the roses in the middle. Now we have this little cutie bouquet. Next, you wanna pick some other flowers that doesn't look like roses at all. Then put it in the middle next to the rose. And you don't want all the green to be on the side of the bouquet like typical bouquet. You want some of them to kind of pick a bow in the middle. The goal of the first step is to get this little teeny tiny bouquet like this. If you have this, Congratulations! And now we're gonna add the little roses. And I recommend to pick different color to the big roses. So this way, you know, there are distinction between the two kind of roses. Now I'm gonna add other kind of flowers. This is ranunculus. They look like roses. That's why people call them spring rose. And I am going to put next to the rose to give this bouquet the diversity. And you can add one more kind of supporting flowers like this tulip, but it's not necessary and keep spinning and when we get to the point that the bouquet look bold you want to add a little teeny tiny flowers around it i am going to use this little wax flowers to break up the cluster of the roses here here's the before look pretty tight and bold now i'm gonna kind of tuck in slide it in and it looks more delicate and romantic and ta-da you get the bouquet now you can add the green on the side of the bouquet like this. More right here to hide the stem of the roses. However, I'm not finished yet. So I'm gonna keep add more flowers. I'm gonna repeat the whole process. I'm gonna continue to add the support flowers on the empty spot like this. And you can add more roses as needed. And here's another tip how to make your bouquet last very long. When you pick the flowers from supermarket, try to pick the flowers that start blooming, not blow open up, okay? Like this carnation. And another tip is to keep your water clear all the time. You can use flower food to make the water clear and make sure that there are no leaves in the water because the leaves will rot the water. And when the water is rotten, that's not good for your flower. Most of the time, the green will come like this. I know you feel bad for the little branches and you don't want to take out, but believe me, it's going to be better for the bouquet because the water gonna be cleaner. And when the water clean, right, the flowers will stay longer. So you kind of want something like this. You only need the tip of the green. You need the green to pick up like this. That is cute enough. And same thing like this. You want the side branches out. Now you can use whatever you have left to cover the side of the bouquets like this. You can even use the roses like this. Okay, but we're gonna save the roses for smaller bouquet. Ta-da! It's done. The flowers are pretty tight right now, but once you cut the stem and put in the water, they're gonna slowly open up 